Hey, Milokan. It, made, it didn't make sense to everybody. This is a different thing. You don't wait for election before you say who will be elected. If that's this man that is here tomorrow, if he does not die, he will do two times. I will tell you what the Lord said. If he does not. Will he try his best? Yes. Some places we heal him. Some places we curse him. Will Nigeria break into pieces? No. But there will be a lot of uproar to divide. But there will be no division. I will tell you what the law said. We'll break it. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. We're going to see a strong army. We're going to see Nigeria collaborating with America in area of security in this new season. I see it. I see America working hand in hand with the new government. But very soon in this nation, evil will be called good. Good will be called evil. Because they will bring their propaganda of the rainbow into Nigeria. Same sex relationship. What God hates, they will allow it. See the future. Because it will come with the Western world. Because Western world, they are about to involve themselves mightily with Nigeria for security and for next level. We don't say it will rain because the cloud became dark. We say it will rain when the desert is present. So beloved, you hear what Prophet FG has to say concerning um, our country and our president Bola Amaretinewo and all that. And there's some things he says in this video that I just want to chit chat with you guys. Because first of all, he talks about that if the president does not go, he's going to do 210. And that one, eh, my eyes opened when I listened to that part and I'm like, eh? to tenor like how 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 because nigeria is not having it currently as we speak a lot of people are not even happy they don't even want to hear that name so you're not going to say that ah this man is actually going to do 210 if he doesn't go so please <laughs> god we are begging you to tell her with the way things are and all that they keep on blaming each other you give me a fail country what do you expect and all that like what is going to be my fate like a whole lot of blends here and then and all that and i begin to wonder that hey if this man should actually stay or do 210 like he's saying what will be people's fate what will happen to people as you all know a lot is happening in nigeria currently for those of you that don't read news don't listen to news like the corolla at bus and all that about they say they record 60 cases and 30 have by so a whole lot is happening because of the economic hardship all this kwashoko and all those things that used to hear back in 1990 and 2000 and all those things they are here because this region is even worse than it used to be. That children will be hungry. You see there is bone, bone, bone you're seeing. It's going back to that. And this time around, it's going to be worse than that and all that. Because the way things are going, or more, it takes the grace of God to intervene. But I feel like I will agree like with this statement Ebedamina made that God does not consign himself with the affairs of men and all that. So it's left for us men to do the undo and do what we want and all that with ourselves. And that is what is happening currently. And also I intend not just to blame the Nigerian government and all this for all this crisis that is actually happening or taking place right now. I blame a lot of individuals and all that. Do I understand that prices of commodity are rising, but the way that we are making it, and I'm not just talking about Nigeria alone at this point, like some West West African countries, uh, West African distinct countries are actually doing the same, and it's so so bad because see, you that you are you you produce things manually and locally made, and then you start increasing prices and all that. I don't understand, and what pains me is that when dollar go up small, tintini. Tintinio, they will just start adding prices. You go now, they are adding thousand naira, two thousand naira, five hundred naira to two things. And I and I'm asking myself, where are we going? 
where are we going for crying out loud? Because we are not even helping each other. I'm not saying you shouldn't add prices to your things when prices increase in the market too, but not at outrageous prices. Transportation from here to here, they have increased. A place that on a normal note, you can walk, oh, but because of probably sun and all these things, you can decide to say, okay, let me just pick a car and all that. Do you know how much it costs right now? Yeah? They have increased it to 200, 300 naira for a walking distance that someone can decide to hold. Let me just close eye and walk. Let me just enter car and all those things. It, so it will, I'm price of where it's going down these two days. But what is happening? What are we doing? Why are we just there to rob each other? And tomorrow we want a better country, we want a better continent. How is it going to be better when corruption is so deep into our veins? Because it's not the government that is only corrupt. We ourselves, we individuals in these nations, in this continent, we are also corrupt. So a whole lot is going to happen <laughs> that if we are not careful, we are the one that is going to destroy ourselves. That is what I see and that is what is coming. And then another thing the man of God talks that Nigeria is not going to divide. You are hearing this issue of division and all that. As you all know, the bill uh, uh, the bill will be passed this coming Thursday, which is about, uh, today is Tuesday, which is about two days away, that the bill is going to be passed, whether it's going to be approved or not, so that Nigeria can be divided into regions and all that so that everybody mind the affairs of their individual regions and all those things and i hope it works so that we will know where our problem is coming from is it from the political sector or is the citizens that are the problem at the same time so sometimes we should look at at some certain kind of things and honestly i feel like uh, they should ban this adding of prices they should ban it because it is becoming something else when you talk, they say, do you know how much uh, this thing I buy? Do you know how much I pay for? Do you know how much? Ah, ah. Let's be sensible sometimes. Let's think about some certain kind of things too. Let's think about people, human beings. Ah, ah. This money you too, you make, you want to go and buy another thing. Somebody also will add prices and all that. It's better safe. Let's even do trade by butter. It, it will even help us more. Because the way we are going, I don't even know whether we will collapse Nigeria or Nigeria is the one that is going to collapse us. And then at the end of the day, the man of God is talking that Nigeria is going to make a collaboration with the uh, United States and all that. Oh, more. <laughs> this one shocked me, Sha, but anyhow, we're going to talk about it. How are they going to come to our aid and all that? How? See, one thing with us um, Africans, but we feel like these Westerners are willing to help us and all that. Like, see, if they're going to do anything for you, they're going to do it to gain, to take from you. That is how they are. So they are using one hand to give you. They are using the other hand to take from you. They are like devil. That is how they do trade by butter. And what they are even going to take from you is way, way better and bigger than what they gave you. So let's be careful the kind of things we wish for and the kind of things that we want because it's it's not going to be like that. Yes, we know that there is not going to be war in Nigeria. You say there is not going to be division in Nigeria and all that. But see, honestly, this is division. Um, I'm praying that it should happen. Because enough is enough. We have had enough from those people. We have had enough from their government and their treatment and all that. And then we, the citizens too, we, we are not good. We are the cause of our predicament. We are the ones that put ourselves in these positions today because of greed. Greed is just everywhere. It's not one-sided thing again. It's everybody that is greedy. Because you give somebody an opportunity to say that, oh, become the president of Nigeria today become a minister, become a local government chairman, become uh, a, 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 a governor in a state and all that. You hear what they'll say, oh, my first thing I go do now to send all my family go abroad. The next thing I'll do is to make sure that I save money, I tip, tip money where we say go last my 10 generations to come. Just imagine. That is why I say corruption is so sold into our blood vessels and all that. With that is we can't do. Even me that I'm talking, if I'm giving the opportunity, I will pack. That is the mentality that we have grown to meet or we have they have created for us that what our political leader does is to steal. So we have had that impression that if I go there, me too, I go steal. 
So people say I will steal moderately and all this. We go all steal at the end of the day. And how are we going to get a better nation? So let's be careful the kind of things we wish for. So that is just the video I said. Let me come and share with you people. Please, before I go, subscribe, comment, like, share with family and friends. And please don't forget to turn on the post notification to get notified whenever I upload a new video. And if you're a returning subscriber, I want to use this opportunity to say a very big thank you. Thank you for always tuning in. God bless you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.